Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butter Sessor Time tutorial on what is open source. Now this is a water source, but we're talking about open source. And open source is a term that's used in reference to software, as in open source software, and it's something that's come about during the age of the internet. With open source software, there's clear definitions, but what it basically is, is that not only is the program available, but the source code that was compiled to create the program is also available. And in this way, in the open source community, which you can see on places like SourceForge.net, all of these programs that are available, you can download the program and you can also download the source code. So you can take and modify the source code of a program and recompile it and create your own version of a program for your own use. Or you can also release it. And there are a full range of specifications and so on that are to be adhered to when dealing with open source. But essentially, that's what open source means, is that not only is the program itself available, but the source code, the programming code that creates the program is also available, and it's available for modification by others. So in this way, open source is often considered better than conventional software because you can get multiple people working on something and making it better. That's open source and that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit hover.com slash butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.